I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a biome and an endangered animal in that biome. I come over here on the bottom left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line over, connect. On each corner I draw a little straight line, little straight line, little straight line, little straight line. In between the little straight lines, I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line connect, wavy line connect, wavy, wavy line connect, wavy, wavy line connect. Inside, I'm going to write tundra. That is the biome that this project is. A biome is a large area of land or water that has similar climate, plants, and animals. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to come right about here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line down, leave it floating. Right here in the middle I put another dot and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line over, up, connect. Right here in the center I'm going to draw a curved line down to the left, leave it floating, come right about here and draw another curved line down, up and leave it floating. Come back to the left we're going to draw a big curve line down, back, connect, come on the right hand side, a big curve line down, back up, connect. I come back over here on the left and I draw a big curve line down, connect on the left, come on the right, big curve line down, connect on the right. Inside, I put dots, dot, 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 dot. I come up and I draw a curved line, straight line, connect on the left, curved line, straight line, connect on the right. Inside, one, two, little curved lines, one, two, little curved lines. I'm going to come in and color these in black on the left, black on the right. Now I come back over on the left and I extend this line down, connect. I come back on the right and I'm going to extend this line down, connect. Underneath, curve line, connect. Come on the left hand side, we're just going to draw a curve line down until bam, it crashes into that line, just leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, big curve line down, off the page. Alright, right about here we're just going to draw a wavy line, jump over, wavy line, off the page. Come above, wavy, wavy line, all the way over, off the page. And right up here in the left, we're just going to draw a circle. Alright, Let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color this in pretty dark brown. Then I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to put the first layer of color over all of these spaces. I'm loop to looping bring it down, bring it over, keep going, up, down, over, and now I'm going to take, whoops, forgot this space, now I'm going to take my brown again and now I'm going to lightly double color loop-de-loop -loop over the top. 
And for those of you who don't know, this is a walrus. These are the walrus tusks. And they've been around in the tundra for the longest time, but now they are endangered. And part of that mostly is because of mankind coming in and encroaching on their environment and poaching for their ivory tusks. Okay, next we're going to take a blue green and we're just going to use the side and do the bottom part. This is the water. And I'm going to take a skinnier blue green and I'm going to color in my frame that says tundra. Now I'm probably going to do a couple of biomes. This will be the first. So there's that. Now I'm going to take my blue green and I'm going to add some wavy lines going across for the water. After I do that I take my regular blue sideways and I color this expanse. This is supposed to be the snow. And I'm going to extend the blue up to the top because this is the sky. But so that I know it's the sky, I'm going to take some dark wavy lines of blue, jump over, to delineate the spaces. And right here, yellow, representing my sun. Pretty simple. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my walrus all colored in in my biome tundra. Okay, bye-bye.